Hello guys, what's up? So till now in trigonometry we have studied the so cut over definition then we have studied the trigonometric ratios of some specific angles and also in the previous video we did the trigonometric table. Now in this video we are going to do some questions or some examples which are based on the trigonometric table. So first thing is before doing or before going through this video you need to memorize the trigonometric table. I also told you a shortcut to memorize the entire trigonometric table. So if you have not seen that video then please go through that video and then only come to this video. So let's start on with our first example. So here one right angle triangle is given to us and in this triangle AB is given as 5 cm. This angle is given as 30 degrees. Obviously this angle is 90 degree. It is a right angle triangle and in the question they are asking determine the lengths of BC and AC. So how can we start this question? Now see one of the angle is given to us 30 degrees right. So we can use some trigonometric ratios related to 30 degree angle. So let's define all the three sides with respect to the 30 degree angle that we have over here. So with respect to this 30 degree angle what will be this side called? This side will be called as the opposite side. Side BC will be called as the adjacent side and AC will be hypotenuse since it is opposite to the right angle. So now in the question they have given the opposite side and we need to find the value of hypotenuse and adjacent side. So we know one of the ratio right like opposite divided by hypotenuse. This ratio is this is nothing but sine. We remember the so cut over definition also right so cut over so sine is opposite divided by hypotenuse. So let me write sine of 30 degrees. So sine of 30 degrees will be equal to uh, AB which is the opposite side divided by hypotenuse which is AC. Now from the trigonometric table if you remember that table what is the value of sine 30? If I see the table it's kind of like this 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45, 60 and 90 and I also told you the shortcut right. First write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 take under root of them take under root of all the 5 numbers and then divide it by 2. So you will get all the 5 values. So here we need the this is sine. So here we need the value of sine 30 degrees. So sine 30 degrees will be this value root of 1 by 2. So that will be 1 by 2. So sine 30 therefore it is 1 divided by 2 and this will be equal to AB divided by AC. So from here we can write 1 divided by 2 what is the value of AB? It's given in the question as 5 centimeters divided by AC. Therefore, we can cross multiply now. So AC which is the hypotenuse this length will be equal to 5 multiplied by 2 which is 10. So the length of AC will be 10 and don't forget to write the units centimeter. Fine. Now let's find the value of adjacent side. Now see again opposite side is given and adjacent side we want to find. So we will write down the ratio of these two quantities. So which is the ratio which connects opposite and adjacent? Opposite side divided by adjacent side. This ratio is so cut toa right T O A. Opposite by adjacent is tan. So let me write down tan 30. Tan of 30 will be uh, opposite side which is A B divided by adjacent side which is B C. So what is the value of tan of 30? See for this uh, tan of 30 you can just remember it like this okay if you see the column for tan here we have 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90. So for tan you can just remember 30 degrees. So uh, in, in this column actually you can remember the values like this 1 by root 3 then this value is 1 and this value is root 3. So the trick to memorize this is if you remember one value then two values are free. How? This value tan of 30 is 1 by root 3. So the numerator is 1. So we will just write 1 over here and denominator we will just write over here. So if you remember tan of 30 then 45 and 60 comes for free. So you can just remember like that. Okay. Now tan of 30. So what is the value? Tan 30 is 1 by root 3. This will be equal to 5 centimeters divided by BC. So from here we can write BC will be equal to 5 multiplied by root 3 centimeters. So this is the answer for BC and AC. That's it for this example. Let's go to the next one. Now in this triangle again angle Q is 90 degree. 
this side is given to us PQ is 3 centimeters PR is 6 centimeters and we need to find out angle QPR so this angle and PRQ this angle so basically we need to find the measures of angle P and angle R these two angles we need to find now let's say for example first I am seeing everything with respect to angle P so if we are seeing everything with respect to angle P then this side will become the opposite side this side will become adjacent side and this side will be known as hypotenuse so with respect to angle P if I see adjacent side is given hypotenuse is given so we need to write the ratio of adjacent and hypotenuse so what is this ratio called adjacent divided by hypotenuse this is called as cos cos so let's write down cos of angle P so I will write cos P don't write it like this okay cos angle P this representation is wrong don't write angle and all that just write cos P fine so adjacent side divided by hypotenuse now value of adjacent side is 3 and the value of hypotenuse is 6 so this will be equal to cos of P so if I simplify this we will get 1 over 2 is equal to cos of P now 1 over 2 so if you see the trigonometric table let's see trigonometric table cos is equal to 1 by 2 over here so what is the value 60 degree right cos 60 is 1 by 2 so instead of this 1 by 2 can we write cos 60 this is the value of cos 60 right so cos 60 will be equal to cos p now after this step we can't cancel cos cos on both sides okay so don't never do it like this it will be wrong don't cancel cos cos and say that 60 equal to p so the value of angle p is 60 degree no that method is wrong although the answer for angle p is 60 degrees only but we need to write like this in exam you need to write on comparing on comparing angle P will be equal to 60 degrees don't cancel just write on comparing on comparing angle P equal to 60 degrees now let's find the value of angle R so if I see everything with respect to angle R so let's take this angle as our base angle so then this side will become the opposite side this is the hypotenuse and this is the adjacent side so now opposite side is given hypotenuse is given so we need to write the ratio of opposite and hypotenuse opposite side divided by hypotenuse is sine so sine of r we will write now sine of r will be equal to opposite side is 3 centimeters and hypotenuse is 6 centimeters so if I solve this we will get 1 by 2 is equal to sine of r now let's go back to the table and see where sine becomes equal to 1 by 2 so this is the table sine equal to 1 by 2 is at 30 degrees so sine 30 degrees is 1 by 2 so instead of 1 by 2 we can write sine 30 degrees this is equal to sine of r so after this can I cancel sine sine on both sides no a big no we can't cancel sine on both sides we need to write on comparing on comparing the trigonometric ratios angle r will be equal to 30 degrees or if you don't want to do this after getting the value of angle p once you know that angle p is 60 degrees we also know that angle q is 90 degrees so after that you can just use angle sum property also so simply by angle sum property you will get r as 30 degrees but since here we are focusing on trigonometry chapter so i told you this also right so both the methods are correct now let us go to the third question so this is a important kind of question you can say this is a one of its kind question that you will be seeing for the first time maybe so this question is important for board exams and definitely it can be asked so you need to know the concept which is involved in this question so let's start here first of all sine of a minus b is given to us as 1 over 2 and 2 times cos of a plus b is given as 1 it is also given that a plus b is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees and angle a is more than angle b so we just need to find the values of angle a and angle b so let's start it like this sine of a minus b is equal to 1 by 2 now where is sine equal to 1 by 2 so remember the table so sine is 1 by 2 at 30 degrees so instead of 1 by 2 can we write sine 30 sine 30 is 1 by 2 now don't cancel sine sine on both sides 
instead of that just say on comparing on comparing both sides we can say a minus b will be equal to 30 degrees so let's mark this as equation number one now let's solve this equation the second equation so here 2 cos a plus b is equal to 1 so first step is just divide by 2 both sides or simply you can send the 2 down so 2 2 will get cancelled here so you will get cos of a plus b equal to 1 by 2 now cos equal to 1 by 2 so where is that possible remember the table of cos so cos is 1 by 2 at 60 degrees so instead of 1 by 2 can we write cos 60 yes now after this we have to write on comparing both sides on comparing both sides we can say a plus b will be equal to 60 degrees so this is equation number 2 now the question becomes like linear equation in two variables right variables are a and b so a minus b is 30 degrees a plus b is 60 degrees so now we just need to solve the two equations uh, which are there in two variables so just let's use elimination a minus b is 30 degrees a plus b is 60 degrees so let's add them adding equation 1 and 2 this minus b plus b will get cancelled so we will get 2a equal to 90 so what will be the value of angle a therefore angle a will be 90 divided by 2 which is 45 degrees and what will be the value of angle b so this value of a you can substitute it in the first equation or in the second equation any one so let's substitute in the first one so we will get 45 degrees minus b this will be equal to 30 degrees so 45 minus 30 and send b to the other side so that will be b therefore the value of angle b will be 15 degrees so answer is angle a is 45 angle b is 15 degrees it is satisfying this criteria also it is satisfying this criteria also both the criteria it is satisfying so that's it for this video i'll see you guys in the next video